My name is Omar Jones. I'm a community health worker with Great Lakes Bay Health Centers. I work for the Jane Street Health Center site. Um, I work as part of a care team. As part of that care team, uh, what we do is help to eliminate barriers uh, that may exist in our patients' lives, whether that be food, clothing, shelter, utility support, health insurance, or finding employment. One of the most powerful things that I think comes out of interactions with patients is being able to help them see that they can actually become independent. I think that it's important to be able to help a person to get to the point that they want to be at. A big part of what we do is all about making sure that we're addressing the issues that the patients want to address. During this pandemic, uh, we've been making a lot of phone calls to patients because um, our centers haven't been fully open. And so the family that comes to mind is the Brown family. Um, I have a relationship with them, I've had a relationship with them for a number of years now. Uh, we've just talked just in passing at times. We've talked about their future. I know that they're looking forward to retirement um, in the upcoming years. Um, but during this time, uh, they both had some issues with their employment where they were laid off. And while being laid off, they also lost their health insurance coverage. They called me and said, Omar, um, I need to talk to you. I said, okay, what's going on? I said, we got laid off and we don't have any health insurance. We need some help. And I came to the conclusion that they would qualify and be eligible for health insurance through um, the state of Michigan. About a week later, I got a phone call from Ms. Brown and she was you know, just excited. She was relieved. She was very appreciative. She's crying. I'm like, what's going on? She's like, Omar, I got the letter in the mail today that said that we were approved for our health insurance. You know, I really can't thank you enough. I'm not always in control of all of our resources. I'm not in control of the circumstances, the situations that exist right now. But what I can do is put my best foot forward to help encourage our patients to uh, reach out to those agencies, to uh, make the necessary phone calls, uh, to be there with them if they actually need some assistance during the phone calls. Um, things of that nature have been a huge help to a lot of our patients. And so, you know, I like to encourage them and, and keep them uplifted just because I know what it's like, you know, when you're trying to figure out things. So I try to put myself in their position as much as possible and understand where they're coming from. And that's the way that I approach my work.